All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Realm mod. We have not played this in almost two years. It was the Bunyachenko series. Yeah, in March of 2022 was when the last episode of that series went up. It, I'll, I'll be honest, okay, like, if I had to pick TNO or Thousand Week Realm, you know, easy choice, don't get me wrong, but, uh, but Thousand Week Realm certainly has its merits. Um... The military factories isn't one of them. For some reason, they produce very little amounts of equipment. I really don't know why. But um, no, no. I love how I say. I love how I uh, how I said it has its merits, and then I list something I don't like about it. But you, I'm glad the mod exists. Um, but yes, we just we just we just haven't played it in a very long time. We've been playing lots of other things. There's been several breaks, but no, we are back today to complete the second half of Costas' payment of that fantastic art piece, Germany, Spadel. So we're going to have to do the Wehrmacht, uh, Manstein, all of that good stuff. Now, I've never played Thousand Week Round Germany before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I do know that the civil conflict can be averted, but I don't know how to do that. But I assume it's probably easy to, to get it to fire, because it's it's the, it's hard to, to avoid it, not hard to, you know, make it happen. But yes, we are back. Thank you once again to Costa for, the, for our fantastic art piece for the new channel banner. And the thumbnail you are seeing on this video is also his work so as as with the bandera series i will have his uh youtube his deviant art as well as his twitter in the pinned comment as well as the description as long as i don't forget to do the pinned comment because um i'll always get the description done but, but not always the pinned comment because you have to wait until the video goes up but yes we are back costa thank you so much again now off we go just finished up the uh, Kodriano series. That was a good series. I, I, I was seriously kind of breaking it, though, for, like, that one episode where we only progressed three months um, about how we were, <laughs> were going to beat the International. But, yeah, 47 Romanian... Uh, Roman I said Romanian tank division. No, 47 Romanian motorizers and smashed up through here. Took Italy. Oh, it was beautiful. 1st of January, 1952. A new world. Schickel Gruber's thousand-year realm under the Natsok party stands victorious in Europe. His, uh, its empire spanning from Calais to Arpangelsk. As the British Empire crumbles, the torch of democracy is passed to the rapidly growing industrial powerhouse in the United States. In the east, the Kuomintang consolidates control over China, while remnants of the Russian army regroup across the Urals and Siberia. The conflict only ended five years ago, but with the unexpectedly fragile New World Order seeing signs of collapse, nobody can know how long the perverse peace will hold. Hmm. Now, this actually isn't any different from, uh, from the last time I looked at it. Almost two years ago. <laughs> that's, that's not very, uh, it's not very encouraging. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, uh, yes, Adolf Schickelgruber, uh, plus 20, uh, yeah, he has the same modifiers in the base game. 25% political power gain, AI modifier, desired divisions factor 20%, weekly conflict support, combat casualties plus 0.1%. Savior of Germany, conqueror of Europe, destroyer of the Slavic small hat reds, first leader of the greater German realm. Adolf Schickelgruber, once a relatively obscure extremist politician, came to power over weakened Germany in 1933 under his Natsak government. Uh, Germany won a series of miraculous victories against the Entente powers and then fought a five-year crusade against Redism, finding itself master of the European continent by 1946. Okay, so the Soviets put up a good fight. I'm not sure what the what the current lore is with uh, with TNO's Soviet Union. Like, it's very flip-floppity. Like, as to, like, like, did they completely fold in 41? Was it a, a 43, 44, 45, you know, 46, whatever scenario? I really don't know. Okay, but 46 is good to uh, set the record straight for uh, TWR anyway. Schickel Gruber now stands as the most powerful man in the world, ruling from Germania as remaining puppets bow to him. And, uh, yes, sub, uh, no, untouchable Razas, yes, are crushed under his boot. With age, however, he is falling increasingly ill and mad, and as huge fractures begin to become apparent in the uh, Natsok New World Order, it is clear a successor will have to replace him soon, and that, there will, there will be many successors, but only one true successor. Now, <laughs> Schickler Groover's thousand year, uh, thousand year realm under the Natsok party stands victorious in Europe, an empire spanning from Calais to Arkhangelsk, free to roam the, uh, free to shape the continent to its will. Uh, yeah, there we are. Uh, where was I? At first glance, the Iron Rule of the Realm seems invincible. Its army stands supreme, and the Realm's commissariats continue to colonize new territories in the East, while all governments in Europe bow to its hegemony. However, as Strickle Gruber grows old and the line of succession within the party remains unclear, instability that had been forced down with military might now begins to bubble back up to the surface. 
the Third Realm has won, but how long can its new order hold? New order? Is that a TNO reference? Now, National Public Controlist, German Workers' Party, NATSOC, uh, National Public Controlism, oh yeah, yeah, I guess I could do it that, that way as well, National, yeah, National, NATSOC, it works. NATSOC is the political ideology uh, most associated with the NATSOC German Workers' Party during the 20th century. NATSOCism was developed by Adolf Schickelgruber and his cronies with pragmatic economic ideals, an autocratic system of government, and most infamously of all, anti-Semitism. More like asemitism, to be honest, um, rather than just anti the uh, National Public Controllist will... It, 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 it evolved. It evolved. I should do a video on that. Anyway. Uh, National, uh, National Public Controllists believe in the superiority of their own Raza above all. Natsocks despise small hats and reds as they believe that they are the roots of degeneracy and stagnation. In addition, Natsocks look to the examples of German Natsockism for inspiration and guidance. Lovely. Now, Overgrown Officer Corps, Division Organization, minus 10%, Orglas moving plus 100%, that is hefty. Planning speed, minus 10%, max planning plus 25%, everything has gone to shit in five years. The half decade, yeah, the half decade of peace of the realm has seen general reductions in army unit size. Okay. And economic demobilization. The officer corps, however, have seen little to no change in the last days of the conflict, with Schicken Gruber being reluctant to lower funds in fear of upsetting... Uh, in fear of upsetting the former, the forming aristocracy within the army leadership, the whole system has grown extremely large, corrupt, and inefficient. Economic stagnation. Of, yeah, yeah. You, you know what? What would be great, but would be would probably be not very much fun, is if there was a mod. I don't know that it, like we'll, we'll just say Ax, an Axis victory mod, but it just explores the period where everything is really good for the Axis after the war. And then maybe right at the end, it starts going bad. But like the entire game, it's nothing but, you know, thumbs up for the axis. 20% uh, consumer goods factories factor. Construction speed minus 70%. Production efficiency cap minus 30%. With the scars of the Eastern War draining productivity. The USA controlling the foreign market. And the NATSOC government's ra ra RAZA purification programs. Eating money like a jet plane air. The German economy has seen better days. Natsak recruitment says division training time plus 100%. Sweet mother of God, we thought we had it good. With Bandera, 55%. Stacking the 30% uh, bonus from the uh, from the focus train. The 25% from the... Um, what's it called? Something nat repeatable national focuses? No. Continuous focuses, yeah. 100%, oh my God. Recruitable population factor minus 30 percent. Okay, th th that's bad, but we should have a large enough population. Division recovery plus 0 0.1 with the uh, wars ending in a Natsok victory. Shikul Gruber quickly started his uh, radical ethnic purification campaigns. In particular, the military was especially affected by this, with it being cut in half. Removing all but the best and most uh, Aryan troops. Hmm? Did you get rid of all the Hilfsvilligers, all the, all the heavies, all the, you know... That's odd. The nation's recruitment process was also tightened and standard training reformed into a more complex system. Okay. Status of the realm. As we enter into a new year, we face the same problems. Not so subtle factionalism within the party and economy in free fall and a sluggish armed forces. All in all, 1952 has proved to be the worst year for the realm in recent memory. Moving forward, it is clear that we must tackle these issues head on as they are slowly killing our nation and threatening to undo all of the progress we have fought so hard to achieve. We shall do whatever it takes, courting the upper crust of the party, regrettably bending the knee to the demands of those cursed industrial cartels and executing careful political manoeuvring within the realm stag. We've shied away from being willing to get our hands dirty for a long time. <laughs> Have we? Okay. And now we're faced with no other option. The unthinkable. Adolf Schickelgruber, the leader of Germany, has passed away unexpectedly. The cause of his death is still unknown to the public, and many high-ranking officials will be at his funeral. Many wonder what will become of the realm in the future. Only time will tell. The fate of Germany, the vultures gather in the realm stag. Uh, German political unity is dying its second death, and there will be no one left to arrest its rot this time. The Wehrmacht's supposed saviors of the realm have plunged in the, into the political scene and declared their loyalty to a specific faction. It remains to be seen who will shape the realm in his image, and who must die for the sculpting to begin. There we are. Any noticeable changes to the map? It's been a very long, very long time since I was here. Almost two years. Look. Why are the Swedes just called social democracy? <laughs> What? Uh, is, is this a bit different? Maybe. Other than that, no. Look, looks uh, pretty samey. Oh. 
Yeah. Or maybe it was always like this, I just didn't pay attention. Yeah, yeah, the rash collapsed. At least it looks like that. Hmm. Maybe it was just partitioned in a very different way. In some of here, yeah. Social Democrat, okay. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> well, maybe, maybe without the Bengal famine, eh. Even then, by 1941, eh, eh. Then again, it printed out by 40, yeah, I suppose. Anyway. I played Italy once, for a full 10 years. It was boring, extremely boring. Very sad. I do enjoy a good Italy game. Now, I'm going to leave... Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave... I know there's the whole Toronto Accord intervention in the German Civil Conflict thing. I'm going to leave that alone, but if it does become an issue, I will uh, reload. I'll do everything again. Um, and just disable it, something like that. Ooh, that's... Look at all those little hacking kreutzes all over the place. Now, Swabian Knights, when Bismarck united the German peoples under one empire, most dreamt of a grand state that could surpass Napoleon. However, only one man dared to put this dream into action, the leader. Oh, excuse me. After the swift victory on the Western Front. Yeah, it really was swift. All eyes turned to the Red Menace in the east, where Germany's fury fell upon the Reds in full force. Kiev, Minsk, Sevastopol crumbled under the German might. Uh, meanwhile, the Soviets found themselves isolated, standing alone as the world turned their back on them. Soon Leningrad fell after a combined assault by the Luftwaffe, Kriegsmarine, and Wehrmacht. Yeah, the proper combined arms operation. Adolfsburg. <laughs> nice. Uh, and, uh, as an all-out assault threatened Moscow, Stalin was forced to relocate his troops away from Stalingrad, opening the door for German intrusion into the Caucasus oil fields. Stalingrad uh, too fell after an encirclement and bled the city and dry. And finally, after millions of deaths on both sides, the German flag flew above Red Square. However, this victory was never official, as the Reds have located the perm with Stalin going missing during the chaos in Moscow. I wonder, obviously the British pieced out in 40 with the disaster at Dunkirk, but like, did they key, Did they still enforce the naval blockade? I, like, you would imagine not, because then, then you know, the Germans are going to wage the U-boat campaign. So, like, I were the Germans able to just buy oil straight from Venezuela, you know, on top of their Romania, uh, obviously. I want to hear more. Yes, I definitely want to hear more. The crisis of 48, after the end of major operations in the East, Germany enjoyed a period of stability and economic boom. But this period was jeopardized 19... Okay, so we had two years. We had two years. That is sad. When Adolf Schickelgruber fell into a coma after suffering from a stroke, a prominent general, Henning von Treskov... <laughs> oh, is he dead already? ...used his opportunity to seize power, declaring that Adolf Schickelgruber is dead. Von Treskov uh, proclaimed himself Prime Minister of Germany. Oh, you shouldn't have used the word Prime Minister. That makes it seem like a British agent and formed a new military cabinet. Loyalist uh, Waffen-SS and military elements refused to recognize the von Treskov government. General Erich von Manstein formed a League of Neutral Regions and Military Formations, which included the Rams Commissariats. Just as all hell was about to break loose, the leader recovered from his coma, losing all legitimacy. Henning von Treskov was arrested and executed. Yeah. While this crisis only lasted for 100 days, its impacts were severe. Ending the German economic boom and pushing uh, uh, German economic boom and pushing Germany into stagnation. I guess you would call it a hundred days crisis. Von Treskov will be remembered, remembered like Judas and the Reds. Yeah, it really doesn't look good. That's the uh, July twentieth plot, I suppose. Ooh, we don't even have a million men. Well, I, I guess technically the the realms commissariat armies would be considered part of our army, but they are also incredibly small. God, we. We've peeled back to a million men, but somehow we're stagnated and bloated and what? 130, 113 million core pop, nice. 31 million non-core, where, where, what is considered to be our non-cores? The poles, okay, but only some of the poles. And oh, we must have colonized the rest. Uh, what else apart from that? Okay, so Astrakhan, Idolsburg, Arkhangelsk. Uh... Beku. 31 million though, I mean. That doesn't, that doesn't make up 30. Do we have cores on the Czechs? That's the data land. Czechs. Yeah. The Dutch? That's hilarious. So where's this 31 million coming from? Can't all be that. Astrakhan isn't very big. Yeah, that's where, yeah, it's, it's decent, but. 31 million? We don't have colonies, which I'm very happy about. Where the feck is that 31 million? No way, it's coming just... Oh, shit, yeah, it's coming from the poles. Sweet mother of God, there's a lot of them. Not for long, though. Not for long. Yep. 
Now, 112 Divisionen. Model are firemen. Von Manstein. It would make sense to get Von Manstein. You know. Heinz Uderian. Nice. I'm not even. This doesn't particularly matter because obviously we're going to have the civil conflict. Uh, so I am just going to. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oops. I'm just going to. Do it a very rudimentary level. I won't even look at their stats, their traits, anything like that. We'll get Spadel, of course. We should really get Rommel. Do we have Rommel already? We don't have Rommel. Where's Rommel? Has Rommel gone into retirement? Scores and he's here. So it's Piper Vitman. Hoy Singer. Ha, <laughs> Berlin's here. He, he's, he's my go to general in that, you know. Never I'm playing Germany. Stauffenberg's here. You didn't participate in the Trescott plot? Damn. Krebs is here. We have a very, very... Oh, there is. Yeah, there he is. We have a very good roster. Darla Wanger's here. I used to call him Darla Wagner for the longest time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we've got a very good roster. I, lo I love having a good roster. I hate having a small roster. I looked at the Pax Britannica roster for the uh, the Russian Empire. Very small. Very bad. No. Yo. How many resource slots? Is that uh, five? Nice. Okay, so what are we particularly short on? Construction war? Yeah, I mean, it's construction war. That's a no brainer. Post war production line. Yeah. Countrywide improvements. That's. Uh, that's all right. <clears throat> we, why don't we have this tech? We had the Enigma code for God's sakes. Free military. For, I, I don't know if I'm even gonna assign these, like in a reasonable manner, because we have to fight the civil war. That's the problem. It's a good-looking artillery piece. Improved anti-air. Wow, well, it's not the 8.8 centimeter, or even the even the 10.5, or the 12.8. Uh, 50s APC. Yeah. Ooh, we've got the. That's not the E50. That's the Panther II. I think. Maybe they're the same thing. Maybe they just look very similar. I don't know. We actually have the Yag Panther and the the, the Panther Panther. 50s IFV, yeah, sure. I'll just do something like this. What else have we got? Support equipment, I suppose. Nope, not that. Trucks. Trucks are essential. Opal Blitz, still using them. I mean, can't go wrong with an Opal Blitz. Trains, how are we on trains? Yeah, that could be an issue. Get, get some trains. Now, civilian factories, yeah. I suspect we don't actually have many. Uh, just do this. Oil, some oilier, some steel. Oh wait, yeah, the infrastructure is level uh, 10 levels here. Oh, I never did like that change. That seems, yeah, just kind of worked on this stuff. Cool. Oh, status of the realm, yes. What are we short? <laughs> Social democracy, yeah, why is it called that? We get, we're, we're getting six, uh, wait, sorry, I'm taking this right. Getting six tungsten? Perfectly, damn. Uh, yeah, who, who does it actually make sense to trade with here? Malayton. Not too sure. Uh, are you aligned with the British? I would imagine that you are still. Yeah, you're in the Toronto. Why can I trade with you? That is odd. We'll try the Brazilians. With uh, Hopefully, Gatuio Vargas is still in power. If he is, that makes it a lot easier for us. Yes, he is. Fantastic. That makes perfect sense then. Dockyards, just bill convoys. Yeah. Our navy. Ooh, our navy's big. 
Looks like uh, Raider's Plan Z went just fine. Let's do what? 353 ships, oh my god. Was it called Plan Z? Yeah, I think it was called Plan Z. Uh, we got, what do we got here? Takes up biochemical research. Third wave of fake news. There have been two waves of fabricated reports about our plans in Eastern Europe, and the greater German realm is is preparing a new wave of news to prove the realm's innocent of the world. Real evidence, overseas testimonies. Ooh, we can send German support, nice. Now. Oversized Kriegsmarine, yeah, yeah, it, is, it seems a bit huge, all right. Fleet coordination, minus 5%, sortie efficiency, minus 20%, naval hit chance, minus 10%, as well as minus 10% for naval... Speed, convoy rating efficiency, minus 20% naval experience gain, 10% consumer goods factories factor. Minus 25% escort efficiency, and plus 40% ship refitting cost. Never abandoning the dream of a grand navy, Germany doubled down on its naval production after the war with Britain. Under Karl Dönitz, the navy expanded rapidly with hundreds and hundreds of submarines being deployed. Oh, okay, so, so did Dönitz just completely win out over a raider? And, uh... And plan, and plan Z just got completely morphed from being a, a surface fleet plan to a submarine plan. Ooh, however, with Germany's economy stagnating, maintaining the navy became more and more problematic, but Adolf Schickel Group refused to scrap expensive fleets, fearing a future naval war with Britain and America. Yeah. Karl Dönitz had no options but to keep the Kriegsmarine functioning in minimal budget while maintaining the regular massive size, resulting in outdated, unfit ships in active service. I'm excited to see what we have. The Air Force, the Luftwaffe, how are we? 1.2k, what? Surely we have deployable aircraft or something like that. Whew. 1,000 uh, Focke Wolf FW190s, 1,400 ME262s, uh, 1,080 ME262Cs, Interceptor 1s, okay. JU-188s, 1,200, almost 1,200 ME262s. Oh, the cast very nice, big-ass bomb carrying there. Is that the one with the 50mm in the nose cannon? I think so. Or in the nose, rather. Uh, ME-264, wartime strategic bomber. We built those? Oh, look at that. That is some History Channel aircraft right there. Junkers JU-390. And just some pre-war transports. All right. Big Farts of Iron 4, obviously tiny for real life. What have we got deployed? Is it? Is it just... Um, yeah, I think it's just our carrier aircraft. It's, it's fine by me. Uh... Dunitz is there. Ra is Raider gone? Is he dead? What happened to him? It's the same thing in Tino. Raider dies in like 1943 or something. Now. Oh yes. SS infighting. Physical power gain minus 10%. Research speed minus 5%. Economy loss cost plus 25%. After the formation of Gotland and the rise of Reinhard Heydrich. The SS have grown into two factions of its own, one side known as the Hydra Click and the other side being the Himmler Click. The rivalry is tearing the SS apart and threatens the stability of Germany itself. Obviously, I mean, we're going to side with Hydric. Hydric is our boy in Gotland. What the hell was that? We've, uh. Mm, it's grizzled. God of death. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, someone wanted me to do a Hydric playthrough to just have, uh. Just, uh. It's not Realms Commissary in Ost Europa. That's uh, that Spares thing. Yeah, Gottish right Realm. That's it. That's it. Greater Gottish Realm. I should do that sometime. Damn, Shekel Gruber does not look happy. He looks very upset. When a small hat says something so satanic, you've got to hit him with the Nordic, Germanic, Agarth, and Aryan Hyperborean stare. Yep. That's, that's, that, that's the one right there. That's what you hit them with. Now... I, I think, I get the feeling there's going to be a lot of reading, and I don't want to do a thing where it's like... Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a uh, a lot of reading before we get to the Civil Conflict, because it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, fire, like, you know, in seven days or whatever. So, I think what I... And I, I don't want it to be, like, introductory reading and lore episode, and then the first episode is, like, an hour of massive amounts of reading, and then the third episode is the actual Civil War. So, I think I might just keep rolling uh, until we hit that hour. Now, gets to the greater future... Ooh, a nice long description. I do like that. As we enter into a new year, we face the same problems. Not so subtle factionalism within the thousand... Yeah, you're good. You're good. Thank you, anyway. Uh... Not so subtle factionalism within the party and economy and free fall and the sluggish armed forces. All in all, 1952 is proof. Oh, here's the exact. Yeah, we already read this. That's fine. 
A scheme in Hungary over the years, the Kingdom of Hungary has become increasingly paranoid of the German presence I mean, uh, in the nation's affairs. Yeah, we have like 10% 10 10 of their population is German or something like that. As a countermeasure, the Volksbund under Franz Anton Bash has designed a conic plan with the Schutzstaffel's approval. The upcoming German rally in Hungary shall turn into a radical march. Uh, a radical march with Schutzstaffel funding demonstrating the consequences of defying German interests. Hopefully this plan would be a firm warning for the Horthy regime and solidify Germania's influence. A gentle nudge. Gain base war, a conflict support plus 1%. Lovely. Let's see how Horthy is doing. Oh, sweet mother of God. He's not looking good. He is not looking good at all. And still no king. Mm. Now, onto this. Failing, are we over here? Nope. Failing economy. Polish terrorist attack. A group of unknown Polish terrorists have successfully damaged a military complex in the former Polish eastern territories of the German realm. Under the cover of night, the terrorist scum used bombs to accomplish the task with military-like precision. It is suspected that the terrorist attack, known uh, that the, the terrorist organization known as the Home Army, is behind the latest attack. Scheiße, damn Poles! Yeah, we've been saying that for a while. Something tells me. The greater future, the coup brought greater harm to the realm than one might see on the surface. It cost the realm much in the way of prestige and Germany's reputation on the markets, alongside the already existing economic issues. The coup offered the world an unsavory perspective into the true nature of German politics. Even in 1952, there are no signs of a recovery in Germany's near future. If no major actions are taken, the realm is doomed to fail. It appears the powers of the world are keeping close eyes on us, waiting to tear us apart once a slight crack appears in our mighty nation. Ein thousand Jahre, yeah. A thousand years. That would be nice, but it's not really realistic. Most likely. Now, failing economy gets into Germany's economy. It is no secret that the economic situation of the realm is sluggish. To put it politely, to express it bluntly, the right, uh, the realm's markets exist slow, uh, solely between Germany proper and the eastern territories, which, although bountiful in key natural resources, uh, that we otherwise struggled with during the conflict has left us isolated in other areas of imports that exist outside of these trade zones. Attempting even the smallest of trade offers with Rome has been met, has been met with stiff-lipped rebuttal. What about uh, Budapest, Bud uh, Bucharest, Athens, and anywhere else? With a similar scene transpiring when von Ribbentrop attempts such with Italy's client states. Okay, that <laughs> that's my question immediately answered. Along with the, well, not in the case of Budapest or Bucharest, though. Along with the isolated trade community, uh, production has lagged behind in various areas, contributing to an overall slowdown in economic activity across the country, which has uh, consequently led to falling prices and slowly raised unemployment. The first occurrence since the Weimar era, we mustn't sit on such a grave issue any longer. Many reformers must come to remedy this, and the return of our economy to normality is the safest goal we must climb to reach. Oh yeah, we have the uh, GDP mechanic. I do like that about Thousand Week Round. How do... Is it this one? We're number two, baby. Number two. And, uh, yeah, and it's a comfortable number two as well. Nice. Very nice. Italy's ranked fifth. It's rough for the Soviets. Southern Poland operation. Reserve Police Battalion 101 is organizing a massive operation to cleanse the still stubborn population of southern Poland. This so-called hunt seeks to exterminate the remaining hidden small hats within the population while the identifying small hat sympathizers in the region. Uh, wait, what? Oh, never mind. The main goal remains to bring order and extermination to those who continue to defy the realm. Get on working, boys. 30 political power. Germany's economy. Germany's economy has suffered greatly recently, and we have no choice but to pay close attention to the problems to begin the necessary reforms. This will be a difficult task, but our leader will get us through it. Reform is the only answer that can pull Germany from the brink of total economic failure. Economy first. Germany's economic, reform, uh, economic reforms begin. Are we done all that? I think so. Yeah. Now. Internal politics. It's in a lot of German support. It's infantry equipment. Do I really care? Nah. Ooh, front of the Hungarian radicals. I do care about that. Uh, radical influence in Hungary increases slightly. Keep of Hungary gets a bit of radicals. Increase activity. Nice. What's this? Damn, Brazil, I trusted you. Who else, realistically? Thailand, maybe. 
There's so little rubber in the world. What is there is locked off to us. I'm very surprised we can actually trade with Malaya, that's odd. I'm gonna go for Thailand. Now internal politics gets event politics of the German realm. Now we must focus on the politics of the interior, mending the current situation we find ourselves in, dishing out the necessary reforms, ensuring above all things uh, business as usual, as well as other things. Time is of the essence, we must toil diligently to main uh, sugar. We must toil diligently to, main, to maintain stability, lest we become distracted by even a smidgen. Then the wretched claws of degeneracy and small hat redism will poke and prod their way into our hallowed institutions. Many meetings will be arranged for the first time in a while. The realm stacks will be put to proper use. Oh, excuse me. Rather than the audience for long rambling and damn near sleep-inducing speeches. Politics of the German realm. Uh, Osterreffen sounds good. The political situation of the German realm turns more volatile by the day. Yeah, you can't cancel focuses in Thousand Week Realm, that's odd. Death slowly uh, creeps towards the great leader and haunts him as a spectre. Meanwhile, factions from within the NSDAP, rivalries between high-ranking officers threatening to boil over from scheming into violence. Thankfully, with Schickel Gruber still alive, the party is remains united on the surface and still makes joint political decisions. But there's so little one man can do alone, even the leader himself feels lost at times. Let us accomplish our goals while we can. 80. Political power. Walter Funk resigns. Suffering from illnesses and not able to complete his role as economic minister, Funk has requested to retire from political affairs and live out the rest of his days in private. While the leader expressed his disapproval on such actions, he still accepted the request after considering Funk's service of the realm. Franz Haler has been made the new minister, replacing Walter Funk as minister of economics. In the meantime, Funk has returned to his hometown of uh, Dan's Cayman to live peacefully for the remainder of his life. Gone with an older generation. Minus five, political power. Add Franz Haler. Is. Oh, he was good. He was very good. Balanced and budget proponent. Oh, I can actually replace these. Nice. Who in this Fran Taylor is terrible. Successful ARP operation. Uh, uh, Reserve Police Battalion 101 has won a major victory in regions of southern Poland. While they faced resistance, the ARPA was able to crush all resistance and successfully dealt with thousands of small hats and Polish resistance, uh, resistance sympathizers. This uh, operation marks yet another brutal yet impressive achievement for the ARPO. Good work, ARPO. Plus 2% base stability. Stands to evolve. Only 5,200 for a little bit of stability. What a deal. Now, Ostreffen gets a bit. Ostreffen starts. Uh, Gotland, Moscovian, Caucasus, and uh, Ostland, Banat, and Ukraine all get the event. I, I used to call Moscovian Moscovian for the Angel for the, the longest time, and I was like, yeah, it means Moscow. It's like, no, it means Muscovy. Yeah. Uh, planned among the higher ups of the Oberkommander der Wehrmacht is the Ostreffen or East Meeting, large conference among officers leading detachments from the Realms Commissariats and Germany proper. The talks will most likely centre on the matters uh, relating to the Eastern Conflict, which will no doubt become inevitable in the near future. Also likely planned is discussions for reforming of the military, a topic which has long been supported by the most senior officers and generals within the Wehrmacht. The conference will likely last for several days, with its outcome having far-reaching effects for all branches of the Iron Forces going forwards. But as many had already pointed out, the conference was of the utmost urgency. If the Realm's army is, continue, is to continue to catch up to that of the Toronto Accord. We, what? Catch up? We beat them. Egyptian martial law. Ah, that sucks. Spears meeting. During a typical afternoon, Albert Spear paid a visit to the Burghoff for a private uh, private meeting with Adolf Schickelgruber. Without the presence of Martin Borman, while the chatter between Spear and Schickelgruber in the garden mostly revolved around architecture, Albert Spear raised his concerns on the German economy and made an informal report on his post as Minister of Armament. Spear subconsciously com uh, commented that the German economy is, in a to is a total wreck and seemingly didn't realise what he just said. Indeed, Spear, the economy is in shambles. 5% base stability. Spear's influence grows. Gets about economic reform plans. Or perhaps Spear is starting to forget his place. Uh, yeah. Third wave of fake news. Sounds good. Fake media campaign on the latest edition of Das Realm. An entire article worth of content in the newspaper was given to a special piece. Written by an unknown author, a sizable article was supported by pictures was published for the German public in which the author showed the lives of deported undesirables in one of the realm's commissariats. This article made, uh, made sure to remind the readers of the deportees in inferiority, but also ensure that these people are living an adequate life under German custody. While most readers often skip these boring sections, a few that cared took this as a sign of relief, knowing that the German master uh, Raza is doing their best to 
to maintain purity in a humane way, but these pictures and names are a delusion crafted by Goebbels' men, with the truth being a pile of ashes in the depths of a mass grave. A success, as always. Now, real evidence. Cover up information is minus 5% stability, damage to garrisons is minus 5% for 15 days. Camp tour yesterday, a group of Red Cross inspectors, part of a now internationally controversial group, uh, were invited to tour a prison camp just, uh, demonstrated by a state-sanctioned camp guide. These guests visited the camp, met the prisoners, and took notes of the camp's conditions. The camp was ordinary, while the living quality, with the living quality being described as superb. Prisoners were tasked with minor workloads and given humane treatment. The Red Cross seemed pleased. Happy to report their sightings back to their headquarters, uh, stating that the German system is working perfectly fine. As the guests, uh, guests left the site, all of them were satisfied, believing that no breach of human rights is being committed by the authorities. However, none of them turned back to look at the camp, and none noticed the exhausting chimneys. Seriously, we took them to a place that had chimneys? That's way too obvious. Someone would have picked up on it. In our pocket. Incredibly bold and dangerous move. Stupid move. Now, quickly check the recording. Grand job. Moving on. Indonesian National Revolution. That's good. French labor strike. Growing labor strikes occurring in the Western Territories has led to a temporal industrial slowdown in the worst in our Western regions. Yeah, we've got the whole uh, Holy Roman Empire borders going on. All the local SS divisions were quick to put down these attempts at striking. This shows yet another stubborn inferior Raza is refusing to accept Aryan rule. Goddamn Franks. Minus 1% base stability. A message from Budapest. Issued in secret by the Hungarian embassy, the Horthy regime has discovered the perpetrators upon the Volksbund attacks. Despite the public sentiments uh, due to Hungary's close relationship with Germany, the Kingdom of Hungary has chosen to, uh, has chosen to not publicly announce this information, instead choosing to confront Germania in secret in the hopes of resolving this matter gently with Germany's consent. While the Hungarians are only asking for a secret apology, however, the fact that Germany might have to admit fault is upsetting for most warmongers in the cabinet. I mean, it, if we don't apologize and take it public, that makes us look very bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it to them. We'll give it to them. And we'll invade them later. Death of George the Sixth. Economic reform plans. The leader has summoned all of the inner circle of the party to come up with plans to reform the economy. Joseph Goebbels, Hermann Goering, and Albert Speer have uh, suggested their respective plans for the economy. With Goebbels' uh, People's Plan, Goering's new four-year plan, and Speer's uh, and Speer's Speer's ideal plan. Each proposals are detailed and unique in execution, but the only factor that matters is if any of these plans caught the leader's interest. Let's see. Fifty foot power again. Thank you. What was that? Oh, Neu Ordnung, nice, the new order, was never formed as any as an official faction. It serves as a term for Germany's direct sphere of influence with partners which might be cooperating closely with the German regime. The starting members of the Neu Ordnung were all originally collaborationist governments. So who is, who is in our faction? Yeah, the Hungarians and, Bulga and uh, uh, Bulgarians aren't, and the Romanians aren't either, but of course, Banat under Sepjanko, is it? Yeah. Really, it's just us and the uh, Realms Commissariats and the Slovak... And the uh, under Tiza. And the Norwegians under Kisling. Is that it? Yeah. No, yeah we don't even have the French state. We don't have the, have the French. We rolled over them. The, the Italian. Yeah, the Balkans. This is this is not good at all. Is Mediano? Yeah. Ostrafen starts. The Ostrafen held in Danzig is a conference between Germania and their Realms Commissariats, hosted by Albert Speer. This conference seeks to discuss Germanization, economic and military policies in these territories, and decide on a final solution that can bring all these lands together to finish building a greater Germany. To Danzig we go. 20 people power. Annals of the Eastern Conflict. Gets around Soviet border question seeing, assuming more like a possibility with each week the aforementioned Eastern Conflict is the formal name for the final capitulation of the Soviet Union, having been left in limbo for quite some time. The USSR has been allowed to lie in wait, entrenching its position. Oh, that's lovely. How many events was that? Entrenching its position while also scheming against the realm, taking every possible avenue to weaken our great nation and sow instability in the territories, while not any more discussed during a closed doors portion of the Ostrafen were concise plans of attack on the Soviets, combining both ground and air operations, with the latter aimed specifically at crippling major areas of industrial output, such as the city of Magnitogorsk. A key area of manufacturing operations for the Union, approved by the OKV. Uh, the plan will shall be the official order of attack should the war eventually come. Germanization status. The main task of the Realms Commissariats is to Germanize the new lands. The Ostrafen urged all the Realms Commissariats to speed up the Germanization and settlement project and expand the Aryan Raza throughout Europa. And you need to come up with one more one for the uh, Garth and Yavagov. Yeah, we'll 
The garrison rides out throughout Europa. After delegates met their statements, the Germanization effort was reaffirmed and the Rams Commissariat promised to start joint operations on Germanization for Deutschland. 20,000 population in Germania. We need to send him east, not, not here. Death of Derlevanger. Uh, reports from the general government Arpo during a raid on a local village. The Derlevanger brigade was ambushed by resistance fighters, a move that caught Derlevanger and his brigade by total surprise. The men of the brigade were bombarded by well-hidden Polish light artillery before being ambushed from all sides, and with their overall incompetence in combat, Derlevanger and his brigade were utterly destroyed, with all members present at the raid killed. Derlevanger's corpse was found within a village hut, holding a bag of loot, seemingly refusing to let go of his pillaged goods. What an embarrassment. Minus 20 political power, and he retires. Good. Croatia requests military shipments at the uh, Poglavnik. That's the only word in uh, Croatian that I know how to say is is Poglavnik. Apart from Teshtika Brigada as well, from the song. Uh, our former allies in the independent state of Croatia. Well, yeah, what do you mean? Why, why, are you, why are you former allies, damn it? Has requested our help in their latest campaign against the Red Partisans that run rife throughout their nation while their interests undoubtedly align with ours. Our high command stresses that giving aid to uh, untouchable Slavs while the realm, realm teeters on the brink of disaster may weaken Germany further. This decision, however, ultimately rests with the leader and his future plans for the Balkans. Yes. The Poglavnik will have our support. 500 units of infantry equipment go to Croatia. Why are you a former ally? Like, even you, Government of National Salvation Europe, like, why aren't you in the faction? It's weird. Finish off these bad boys. Atomic testings, yeah. Although we do not have the full capability to produce atomic bombs, our science team has successfully created a prototype. Members of the government urge the leader to allow a show of force done by a nuclear test in Moscow, but our scientists exclaim that a testing an atomic uh, device, assumedly, or bomb or weapon, at this current stage might create unrealistic expectations and spark international attention on a project that still needs polishing. Should we allow the testing? Test the prototype! 10% base comes for... We mean, we have the checks. You know, second best uh, uranium in the world after the Belgian Congo. Now, industry and military of the East. While the Ostreffen seeks to discuss both uh, industry and military under the director from the leader, Albert Speer seeks to integrate both subjects into one. You know, let me just quickly adjust the music if I can. Yeah, I think I got a little bit there. Now, the conference verified the importance of the convict economy in the realm's commissariats and their part on securing the outskirts of Greater Germany and how they play a continued significant role in the German military economy as a whole. Prospect, one off map civilian factory. Thank you. I think that goes. Yeah, like, I know we probably have, like, some nerfs at the moment. Factory output nerfs? Anywhere? No? So. I don't know what it is about Thousand Week Realm. Five military factories making four units of infantry equipment. I, I, it's just very odd. Uh, milita military factories in Thousand Week Realm don't really do much. Like, no. I don't think we can even... Yeah, yeah, they, they, they still haven't even integrated the tank designer. Good lord. The grand speech. While the leader is not able to attend the Ostreff and the Minister of Propaganda, Joseph Goebbels... Represented the leader and held a grand speech in his honor. Goebbels said that the prosperity of German people must be achieved through strong cooperation and the will of the frontier uh, settlers, clarifying the role of the realm's commissariats for the continued prosperity of Greater Germany and duty amongst all uh, Agarathan people in the world. The start of the Ostreffen truly show shows the glory of Germany to the world. Thank you, Goebbels. 50 political power. Real fun Hungarians again. Overseas test. Ah, shit. We just, just about missed out on it. Can we take forward a little bit? Yeah. There we are. Overseas testimony drilled by our overseas agents. Some of the refugees that escaped the occupied nations will make statements about the greatness under German authority and they will say how much they regret leaving. Eh. It's about overseas influences. Plans submitted three proposals made by the respective leaders are now being reviewed by the leader himself, with the final decision being only his. Speer's plan details a plan in which various state projects and reforms would pull Germany closer to the Agarthan dream. Goebbels' People's Plan aims to revamp the German economy in a more traditional military way. Lastly, Goering's new four-year plan seeks to reform the entire system to bolster wealth and productivity. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to burn the papers, because I imagine the military only really comes to, into power if... All others have kind of failed or something like that. Burn the papers. 200 political power. 5% base ability. Shekel Gruber's distrust towards others grow. Oh yeah, wasn't there that thing? There was like that menu where you could open it up and you could see Shekel Gruber's uh, uh, relations with other people. 
Or is that a different mod? I thought it was this. There it is. Hidden away up here. Uh, the inner circle, yeah, Goebbels. Suspicious towards Goebbels and Goering and, Bo and Bormann and Himmler. Albert Speer has weak influence and neutral relationship. Goebbels has weak influence and is suspected. Strong influence suspected. Mediocre influence suspected. Mediocre, mediocre influence suspected. Yeah, I mean, four out of five are suspected. Speer looks a lot better here. Oversea influences during Germany's conquest, many undesirables uh, fled overseas, never hearing that they're uh, near, never hearing from their relatives living under the Germans again. However, since the fighting stopped between Germany and the Soviets, more and more refugees overseas started receiving letters from Germany, all of which are signed by either a lost relative or a friend that lived under German rule after most fled. In these letters, they express that they are now living in a safe location somewhere within the realm, and the generous realm has allowed the occasional letter sending to relatives overseas. These letters are often relieving for the receivers, but a majority of them believe that these letters are indeed forged. While these overseas undesirables cannot be sure about the authenticity of these letters, we know for a fact that our agents are experts at mimicking uncivilized writings. They were never suspected a thing. Hmm. Kickstart biochemical research. You have to remind me what that is again. No armor trains? Yeah. Yeah, this really does help with the artillery. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get this. Kickstart biochemical research. 365 days of research speed minus 20%. I mean, it's not even going to last that long. Unlocks a biological and chemical tech tree. Sounds good. Now, matters of the Eastern conflict. Uh, yes, we read that already. Fantastic. Do we test an atomic bomb? You betcha we do. Or did. Just hours ago, the government of Germany announced the success of its first ever atomic bomb test. The test was performed in the remote Arctic region of Realms Commissariat Moscovian on February 19th, and the relatively low yield weapon is successfully detonated. Germany now claims that it has proven that it can match the Toronto Accord in terms of nuclear capabilities. However, military experts in the West suggest that the triumphant announcements around the test are bluffs, and Germany does not have the full capabilities to produce atomic bombs on an industrial scale, unlike the United States. Nonetheless, a clear demonstration of theoretical nuclear capability from Germany is something the West had that West had long feared, and that was a reality. Germany will march on. So America bomb forty five, Soviet bomb forty nine, Germans bomb fifty two. I think the British were also in the were the British in the fifties for the bomb. Oh, I can't remember when the British got the bomb. I think the British were about fifty two as well in our own timeline. And I know I know the Soviets were second at forty nine. I think. Now. Heinrich von uh, Wietinghoff dies. Today, the heroic General Wietinghoff has died. He was a key figure during the invasion of Poland. He was a major commander during the invasion of the Yugoslavia. After victory in the crusade against Redism, he retired from military life. Unfortunately, he has recently died from his increasing illness in his home in Fronten, Bavaria. A state funeral was held in Bavaria, and many high-ranking German officers will appear to the event. Rest in peace. Ten political power. How does that give us political power? Is he an opponent of ours? Ah, yes, yeah, the Spanish-Moroccan conflict. The Spanish either roll the Moroccans or the Moroccans roll the Spanish. They're equally likely as well. Kisling's Call, our allies in Norway, have contacted Germania. Due to recent uh, events, they are requesting greater autonomy, as promised by the leader himself in the 1940s. While it, may, while it might be time to finally follow through with our promise, Joseph Goebbels suggested that Germany should play along by pretending to allow Norwegian reforms to occur and then retake control when the time is right. Uh... Go Schickel Group is a man of his war. I mean, yeah, I, I do like Goebbels' plan. To be fair, yeah, sure. The Norwegian thaw, surprising. The Norwegian dictatorship has entered uncertain times in the wake of growing unrest and collapsing domestic support following the death of 54 Norwegians. What is known as the Narvik incident, the Kisling government has contacted Germania. An unprecedented telegram requesting permission to launch much-needed reforms, whose contents have been leaked to the press, has been agreed on by the German regime. As garrisons retreat from besieged domestic barracks, victorious crowds burn their German flags in the streets. Celebrations are expected to continue into the next week. The London-based Norwegian government in exile has refused to comment on this event, but has cautious assurances of support from the Toronto Aligned Nations role in. One thing is clear, the new order faces a new threat from the man in the street. Surprising, yeah. Oh, we get an atomic bomb, they get a hydrogen bomb. God damn it. 10 megatons? God, we'd be lucky if ours was 5 or 6 kilotons. Ooh. The trading policies. Now, realms commissariats, such as Ukraine, have rich resources that can supply the Agarathan people. Germania demands the realms commissariats extract and export extra resources to the realm and fuel the German economic machine. 
The delegates from the Rome's commissariats have sworn their loyalty and promised Germania their resources will be put to good use for the Agarthan Raza. Resources for the Realm 30 oil in Germania. I don't mind if I do, and I certainly do. Who is that? Look like Bill... Not Bill Clinton. George Bush, but like with a phase on. I only caught a quick glimpse at it. Anyway, reforming the military. Guess event military reformation the army of the realm. Ugh. Death of Rallis. Shit. Soviet border question. With border classes, with the border classes with the Soviets have been dragging for ages, and it's finally time to teach those, uh, teach these Russians the German ways. Germans in the far lands will no longer tolerate the Russian raids, and Germania must stand up for her people. It's time to strike. A border skirmish will make them reconsider their choices in the future. So send the Einsatz Gruppen, which belongs to Bormann. What? Okay. Waffen SS for Himmler, of course. Wehrmacht. Luftwaffe. Why isn't there any percent of chance for the Luftwaffe? Send the Wehrmacht. Now, assassination of Helmut Bischoff. Oh, it's you. Well, was your name Helmut Bischoff? I don't remember your name being Helmut Bischoff. I know I know you, of course, from when... Uh, uh, what's his face collapses? Hudi collapses, yeah. And, and if you're... No. If you're unsuccessful, you lead the... Uh, Oh, Leopoldville Revoltung. Reportedly attending a meeting with fellow Schutzstaffel members in Frankfurt, Helmut Bischoff was killed by a car bomb rigged into his Volkswagen. 21 were killed, including Bischoff. I don't... I never took much notice of your name, but for some reason I just don't think your name was Helmut Bischoff. Uh, Heinrich, uh, Heinrich Schickelgruber addressed the Schutzstaffel about recent... Uh, yeah. What did I just call him? I'm kind of tired, forgive me. About recent events calling these incidents as merely acts of terrorism by the untouchables. Damn. Minus 40 pistol power. Ostrafen ends. After a few weeks of the Grand Conference, it has finally come to an end. Albert Speer thanked the Rums Commissariat representatives in the name of Germany for their attendance and dedication to the future of the German people. After a feast between German officials and Rums Commissariats, delegates in a Danzig Hall, the delegates were sent home and the Ostrafen has come to an end. Resources for the realm, 50 political power, lovely. Opening of Theodore Morel Hospital, one of the biggest hospitals in the whole of Germany. The Theodore Morel Hospital has been opened in Germania, named after the leaders of former personal doctor with over... Is it the small hat? Or no? Oh, no, that, that, no, 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 that was a doctor when he was a child. Never mind. Uh, with over 10 floors and an array of the latest medical technology that the realm can offer, the Theodore Morel Hospital will become the backbone of health for the city of Germania. The opening ceremony was attended by multiple high-ranking officials, including Albert Speer and Hermann Göring. Symbol of German welfare, 50 political power again. What can we get... Uh, might hang on to that. Forming the military gets about military reformation. The army of the realm is the largest in Europe. Uh, uh, that's the exact same event we got last. I'm not reading it. Is the stall uh, is the largest in Europe? Stalwartly, uh, stalwartly defending the high mat and for and the far territories of our nation it has quashed numerous foes and sends ready to thwart even more. But behind all the chest beating and propaganda posters, Algerian conflict. Oh, Spain's not doing well. There's a creeping element of age within the structure of the Wehrmacht. The last topic to be discussed at the Ostreffen, the reforming of the military into something more efficient and adapting with the times was, uh, was approved unanimously by senior officers and generals. A multi-layered approach, the foremost aspect would be the re-evaluation of doctrines utilized during the conflict and retrofitting them into the new age. Alongside such would be the adoption of new equipment in every single division within the realm. Some troops are still carrying rifles issued over 15 years ago. Well, okay... What, 37? Okay, so what, car 98s? We must reform our Wehrmacht fear to continue our place as the uh, hegemon of Europe. Costs and mutterings of bureaucrats be damned. Guess we have either MP40s or STC. This says STG45M, but it's not an STG45M, it's an STG44. Um, you can see the STG45M in TNO because it's the actual assault rifle. It has the shorter barrel and it's got like that bulge right here. Yeah. Now, rolling on. Border war victory, good. Our Wehrmacht soldiers were able to win uh, a uh, were able to win several border skirmishes against the Soviets, granting Germany a stronger border against the Reds. Good work. One hundred political power, ten percent based conflict support. Free French in Africa, nice. Assassination of Joseph Mengele. Joseph Mengele has been found dead within his office, killed by a single bullet in the heart. 
Police and security services both claimed that such murders by a resistance fighter would be impossible due to the building being heavily guarded and no reports of suspicious entries having been reported by the elite guards. Reinhard Heydrich has phoned Germania from Gotland suggesting that the timing of these incidents were targeting the Schutzstaffel and planned by some sort of higher up or higher person or group within the party itself. What is going on? Minus troops and basically Hans Oster, perhaps? Heroes Memorial Day. For now, uh, from Atlantic to Ural, Germany stands tall in the world. Our Germany, our fatherland, which 17 years ago was still shackled by the terms unjustly imposed upon him by the decadent West, today thrives in its rightful place on top of mankind. Liberation from injustice brought upon us a new path of glory. We, with the guidance of our leader and the spirit of a Gareth and people, we broke free from our former chains like a phoenix. Our flame of rebirth swept the old orders away. The flame that also lights the torch that heralded a new glorious era where all Germans may live free, unshackled, unburdened under the rule of the leader. All thanks to the brave, courageous sons of the fatherland, triumphantly won after fighting all small hat puppets from California to Kathmandu. I don't know where that is. May Germany, uh, may Germany stands tall now, then and forevermore. Excerpt of Alfred Ingemar Burns' speech in the Volkshalle. The hero's memories must live on for now. The people shall celebrate glory to the heroes. Oh no, you can't escape Bandera. Can't escape the Bandera series. 20 pistol power gets hero against heroes day. 5% ability for the month. Nice. Yeah, Britain got their bomb. There we are. Is it, I think it's still Clement Atley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carl Gebhardt incident. On the outskirts of Germania, while Carl Gebhardt was driving to deliver a report about the recent uh, situations to Minister Martin Bormann, he was mysteriously killed. His driver was dead by the time the police arrived, and Gebhardt's body showed signs of struggle before death, with the cause of death being five shots into the stomach. All state ministries are now alerted to the ongoing possible conspiracy, and Albert Speer is urging the leader to hold out within the bunker. What the? Minus 3% based ability. German coup in Norway. Even with the promise of reducing German influence in Norway, the Germans have deceived the Kisling regime, taking the uh, National Samling's chaos as an opportunity. Joseph Turboven and the German garrisons have intervened to stop this chaos. Reforming the German administration, Joseph Turboven has ousted the Norwegian government, cooperating with the Herden in the process. Okay, so Turboven's more extreme than Kisling, and Lie is more extreme than Turboven. If I'm getting that right. Yeah, I think so. SS rivalries. We should. Military reformation. After decades of victory and peace in the German realm, the military forces of Germany are getting more and more outdated day by day. The military system clearly needs some improvement, but the nation high command might be against such a decision. In their minds, the German military system is perfect. It brought victory in the eastern and western front. The government is divided on this issue, but a decision from the leader would settle the score. There's no need. 10% base ability and conflict support. Lovely. SS rivalries. 100 political power. Few could have expected a rivalry to develop in one of the most powerful organizations in the realm, but strange times make for equally strange occurrences, it seems. Naturally, the two opposing sides have coalesced between Heydrich, the realm's commissar of Gotland, with who favors his own model for the SS's functions, which has served him swimmingly in pacifying the region for a Garthen settlement, and Himmler, the current realm's leader, whose doctrines have served him adequately thus far. Each man has fiercely entrenched himself in his own visions of how the SS should function going forward. And it is becoming clear that only one shall prove to come out on top. Ultimately, however, it is the decision of the leader to give the ultimate favour out of both men. Crippo investigation. After many deaths with such odd timing, the criminal policy has stepped in and taking charge of the investigations relating to related to those incidents. Yeah, there were so many organisations. Like, there was the Crippo, the Orpo, uh, the Gestapo, the SD. So many. But progress is painfully slow. Chief Investigator and Director Arthur Nebe has promised that a clear conclusion would be reached and justice would be brought upon the ones behind such evil attacks. Get on with it. Explosion in Danzig. Huge, uh, sorry. Hours ago, a huge explosion shocked every citizen within the city. After brief examination, it was clear that the explosion originated from the Gauleiter office. The explosion killed 291 realm workers. And we, we got to at least extract 291,000 as, as uh, payback. And bystanders alike. One of the deaths being Gauleiter Albert Forster. The police were unable to identify. We were, were, were unable to clearly link the attack to any groups which possess the means to coordinate such major attacks. Find the plotters quick. It's the poles, and the small hats, and the reds. Minus five percent base ability. 
Oh, India expanded. U-Bahn expansion. <laughs> Under the watchful eyes of Albert Speer, the German, the Grand German U-Bahn has been completed sooner than expected, linking important regions from the Ger Germany and also a grand massive line extension in cities of Brandenburg with some complicated and deep tunnels designed to be air raid or even atomic shelters. The scale of the Germania U-Bahn is comparable to an underground city, which proves that Germans have yet again showed the world how a Garth in engineering is unmatched. Fantastic. Good work. Brandenburg and Germania each get one level of infrastructure. Lovely. I was about to say that I was hoping to get this focus on without getting another event, but now we got three events. Uh, that is a good place to leave this episode. But alright, lads, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was a colossal amount of reading. But uh, I, I, wanted, I wanted to make the first episode an hour long just because, like I said, I didn't want, like, you know, introductory reading lore video, then the first episode being an hour of reading, or the second episode being a full hour of reading, then the third episode maybe being half an hour of reading, and then the Civil War. So hopefully we'll get to the Civil War sooner. But all right, let's hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you will enjoy this series. Uh, if you did, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comments section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.